Hey guys, it's the Stuff 64 and I'm sorry about the inconvenience of this video. I'm going to be showing two things this time. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a fake cigarette that I made, a prop cigarette for short films or movies. And uh, then I'm going to show you how to make a uh, gun look a little more realistic. I've made these three cigarettes, and this one happens to be my best one. Uh, what I did for the tip is I actually did burn it. Uh, Y'all would have seen that, but uh, the audio kept on messing up. So uh, I'm not going to remake it. I've already tried this video three times. So I decided, let, why not, let me just walk you through it. And uh, you take a piece of paper, you cut it, so let's say about from on this paper let's say from there to from the end obviously it's about here and um you cut that you cut off the uh pieces right here because it's the paper i used uh and boom now you have to uh, take your hold on your your skewer no to like a yeah it's skewer it's just skewer and uh you're gonna r uh, wrap the paper on that and just do tiny movements hold on uh basically you take your skewer you put this there and you just roll it make sure it's tucked inside there make it as small as you can then keep on rolling until you finish off with a with however wide it is if you don't like how wide it is just you, it means you're gonna need water paper and uh, always do it from the wide side down so, from the wide side, you're going to go to the side that's the widest, pointing down. So, from top to bottom, where it's wider. That should have made sense. I, I explained that three different ways. Well, uh, now, you have uh, you have to put the adhesive tape. I have this one, because it actually matches this pretty well. And, uh, just put it on there these are a little wet so you might seem a little off because that's how i uh, stop it from burning because i don't want to burn the house down i'm not gonna let it sit i'm not making a movie or anything and uh yeah so it's brown tip the part where you put in your mouth you burn that the smoke will actually come out of there so if you want to it'd probably be a really gross flavor it might not be healthy so don't breathe it in but in movies you can you can have that and just blow it out your mouth just don't breathe it in you know and those are some fake cigarettes. You end up doing using the acrylic to uh, put those brown, to paint those brown tips on, and uh, yeah, it's just basically it. You just burn it with a lighter. And uh, now to do the good stuff. Uh, okay, so here we go. We have our tour gun. Fake gun, it's an airsoft gun, it's kind of broken because it kind of broke it. Uh, actually, give me a second. Boom, boom. <laughs> These are screws actually to the speaker. Now I'm pulling this so the top doesn't break off like usual. Usually it'll break off and all that. And it's so annoying. Now I'm going to do it. Right there too. So just give me time. I like these screws better to put in here. Oh, 
Yeah. So basically, what we're going now that we have that gun, it's it was already black, which was good. So now we're gonna have to make it look a little more realistic. And uh, we're gonna take out the mag for this one. Airsoft. But uh, here we go. So we're gonna open some gray. Better yet, silver. Or not really silver, but something that looks a little more metal. We're just gonna take. I'd probably use a sponge, but for right now, I'm using this. Just give me a second. I'm pouring the grain to the cap. At the bottle, and uh, now we're just gonna go to where it would have been a little more beat up it's around the edges. Make it look more of a real gun, where the uh, trigger is. Kind of. It's going to be a little used. Where the uh, mag goes in. The grip. Just a little bit. Next side. Back here. Okay, and uh, this is what we're getting so far. Don't do it on the handle. That's just a mistake I made. Uh, now, maybe where the uh, side is. To make it look more of metals coming off. And uh, definitely along here. There's definitely going to be a few scrapes in there. Because your uh, gun's going back and all that. Once some of the bullet comes out too. Now uh, to show you all how it actually turned out. So you see it. Looks more of a real gun this way. You can buy. So. It's a little bit of a. Hard to tell the guns have been worn out a little bit. Make sure to paint that black unless you want to do a trick that I like to do where you hold it by the nozzle and then cock it back to make it more realistic because you don't want your hand to go out there because that's where the bullet exits drop and see that's where the bullet exits right there but yeah if you were to see this gun just lying around you could like okay that's an old gun right it's not the best I would, if I had a bigger gun I'd totally do better but right now I'm using this and all that Right now, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, mag. So, when we take in and out the mag, it'll actually look better. Mag's going to be a whole lot more scratched up because. It's been going in and out the gun. And you have mag. It needs to look like it's actually been going in and out that gun. And all you gotta do is... And you got your gun.
bang, 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 bang. Looking down the side, bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang. But yeah, that would be adding a little bit more texture and a little more belief to that gun. So thanks for watching. I will do another gun video in the future, and it will be better than that with the uh, texture and all that. But thank you for watching. Peace.